So, Lee is the Porsche engine guru, and what we're going to do is he's actually going to blast the part for us. Um, maybe just yeah. a piece of that part, just to give you an idea of what, obviously how these guys are operating and what type of media, what type of bar pressure they're using and all that yeah, kind of definitely. stuff. So, Lee, should we get cracking yeah, with it? Yeah, not a problem. Right, so Lee's gonna take uh, gonna take this engine part and we're gonna blast it and we're gonna see what difference, obviously, what the difference it makes. So we're gonna remember how it looks now, because it's not gonna look like this when it comes back out. So well, a bit should we not? Well, bit, yeah, of course. Um, right, should we get it done? Yeah, no yeah, problem. Let's go. Excellent. Right, so Lee is using our 1215 Aqua Blast. Um, it's using most likely they'll use the glass beads with a little bit of a mixture on the aluminium oxide. And the what pressure, what, what sort of bar are you using the machine at, Luke? It's usually run, run it about six bar. About six bar? Six bar. We have it, right. it, has, it has its own dedicated compression. Right, okay. So uh, six, bar, six bar pressure and that would pretty much just remove any staining, any oil, any grease, anything like that. Um, I don't know if you want to get a closer shot. I mean, you can just see how easy it's pushing through it. Clean it off proper after. I think you can see straight away. I mean, the difference. The difference when you look at this bit. Yeah, the, I mean, yeah, it's literally like we said, it's day and night between the yeah. two, and it took what less than five minutes. Less than five. Less than five minutes just to blast that, that little part, yeah? yeah, just to achieve that sort of finish. I think Thirty minutes, we'll, we'll do that in. Straight away. I mean, even if looking at the other side, just here, for example, on the smaller thing, on the writing yep. here. So that's why the glass bead is good because it doesn't actually eat away at the numbers. Exactly. Yeah. And so you're still seeing all your. Exactly. I mean, for you, that that's you know these are important numbers. Like you, you'll be able to actually order parts just based yeah, on this. Yeah. The casting numbers and stuff. So if you exactly. want to find something, these numbers are important. And that's where the glass bead, like we said, it is a better way to do it, but obviously with the mixture of the aluminium yeah. oxide, that just guarantees so that it eats away at the Basically, dirt. your aluminium oxide is doing the heavy work. Yeah. And, and the glass, glass bead, bead is, is it's polishing, it. polishing yeah. it for you. Yeah. Which is basically... So taking credit, basically, that's what it's doing. Yeah. <laughs> it's taking credit for the work. So it works well together. It gives you... Yeah. ...quicker to clean them. Yeah. But you're not sacrificing the finish either, because... You've got your glass bead as well. So that's you're, right. Yeah. You're that's getting right. your finish as long with, as, as well as a bit of speed. But no, I think I think the mixture of the glass beads and aluminium oxide for an engine, especially for an engine or a car park component in this mm. case, it just really, really does. I mean, yeah, a, a few more minutes, the whole of this would have been yeah, completely. We'd have, we'd have yeah, we would have got all of that. And it looks exactly like that. So yeah, this is. So again, just to show you on the writing as well. Again, everything's intact. Every bit of lettering, numbers, um, and we think it's made in Germany. But I'm sure it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Your blaster hasn't took that off. That's Porsche itself. That's Porsche itself. Right. No, that's good. It's <laughs> trying to hide where it's made from. Right. Yeah, Brilliant. probably. <laughs> uh, but Lee, obviously, in terms of you using the machine, I mean, how how do you find it? Easy to use? Simple? There's not tiring? No, we're not tiring. But a bit of strain on your hands sometimes when you're holding that lance for all day. If you're at it all day, but other than that, it's a quite simple machine, isn't it? It They're is, very simple. It is, it is the, the theory behind it is very simple, and then when you actually start using it, you think, oh wow, where have I been? Why haven't we done this before? Oh yeah. It's, no, it's really, like, it's, it's intriguing to, st when we do these, these types of case studies, it's intriguing to see how people use it and how they feel about yeah, using it. Yeah, different people use different stuff. Different exactly. applications, isn't it? Different well. applications, yeah, exactly. I mean, most of the time it will be the glass beads, um, but again, sometimes we, we do get something different, but mm. the, the the feedback's always the same. It's always like, you know, it's an easy machine to use. Oh yeah, very simple. And it does, and again, it does the job that, like we said, the wire brushing is yeah. not going to do no. in a day. No. Like, it will take so many hours to do. What you often, the bits. Aqua Blast 1215 is doing, it does. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's exactly it what it says on the tip, do any, yeah. yeah. It is, it doesn't <laughs> do something it shouldn't. That's it right. does what it says it does. And yeah. that's, if you want one that's a good machine, quick to use, that's this is the machine I, I would say. I mean, we, when we purchased ours, we looked at a few different companies. Yeah. And 
this machine stood out above everybody's. Yeah. That's not just saying because you're really. No, 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 it really course, did stand out. Uh, some of the machines you looked at them all like been chucked together. You know, the quality, made, build quality, kind of stuff, yeah. the build quality weren't there. Um, and that's, the, that's the thing that we're trying to do on our YouTube channel as well, is just trying to show how we make our machines, mm. you know, because there is a lot of competitors out there, if you yeah. will, that they are homemade. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, okay, it's homemade, it looks great, you've done a great job to do it, but now, okay, how long is that going to last? Yeah. Because yeah. they're not cheap. No, no. But, I mean, we came up to the factory to see them being made yeah. before we purchased. So. And you saw it yourself, like, you know, yeah. how it's actually made, you know, the stainless yeah, steel, everything put together. Oh, just yeah. Looks, yeah, it was good to see, really. You know what you're buying. Yeah, and that's obviously that's important for yourself because like, is, yeah. you've got so many customers relying on yourself. So yeah, yeah, yeah. brilliant. Um, okay, well, Lee blasted the engine part, and uh, hopefully that gives that gives you a better idea of obviously what the what the machine does. Uh, there will be other videos that we can demonstrate a bit further, but in terms of you know a customer application for other customers, yeah, seems to be working just fine. Right, so we've just met Lee and Tobias. They were more than welcoming, so thank you so much to them for inviting us here and letting us have a sneak peek of what they do behind the scenes. And uh, we just wanted, we wanted to see what, what the Aqua Blast was being used for. And as you've seen, it's uh, you know engines mostly, but obviously they've got other components, pistons, that kind of stuff. They, they do pretty much everything from here. And it is a service that they do offer their customers. So if you enjoyed this video and you want us to do more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe, follow, like, comments, all that kind of good stuff. Just do it and uh, we'll bring you more videos like this, okay? Until then, stay safe and stay tuned.